Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up your shipping settings in Shopify. We're starting on the Shopify dashboard. You're gonna start by going to settings down the bottom. In the settings panel here, we're going to go to shipping and delivery. Now, this is where we adjust all our shipping rates. First thing I'll say is that there are three main ways that you can set up shipping. And this depends on your products, your store, and how you're fulfilling your products. How do these products actually get to the customer? It's gonna depend on your store. So you need to think about this for your products, what suppliers you're using, or if you're shipping them out of your own warehouse or your garage or wherever. Okay, the three main ways are free shipping, where any order that comes through, you don't charge the customer for shipping. The second way is a flat price. This might be a fixed price that you charge, say $10 on every single order. And the third way is weight-based. Okay, and you can set this up too. You can hook it up with your carrier so you can have an integration there so it calculates the weight of all your products and works out the shipping rates. You can do that too. Another thing before I dive into the details is that you can set up profiles. Okay, profiles are ways for you to categorize different products and give them different shipping rates. For example, maybe you're drop shipping and you have a bunch of products from that supplier that have a certain shipping rate. Well, you can add a profile and group those products together, charge a specific rate for those products and charge a different rate for other products. We'll go through that in a little bit, but firstly, we're gonna go through how to actually set up your shipping overall for your entire store. So on this page here, you'll see it has shipping here. It says general shipping rates, all products. We're gonna click manage rates. Okay, so we have our products here and be aware that when you use this general profile, this is for all the products in your store, then any new products you add are generally gonna be added to this profile as well and this shipping information is gonna be applied to them. We're just gonna scroll down and go to shipping to and we're gonna create a shipping zone. This is an area that you're gonna be shipping to. You can use this for countries or for entire continents or the whole world, depending on what you actually wanna charge your customers for shipping. So I'm gonna set this for Australia. I'm gonna search for Australia here, select Australia and it's gonna be for all of Australia. Click done. Now that we have our zone ready, we're now gonna add in our rates. Click add rate. Now, like I said before, you can set up integrations and apps to actually calculate your rates for you. And depending on what fulfillment service you're using, if you're using a different carrier, you can actually let their app calculate the rates for you because they might have their own tables depending on dimensions or weights or what have you. To start off with, we're gonna set our own rates. If you wanna set up free shipping for all your products, which is quite a common thing, you can set the rate name to just be free shipping. Add that in, the price is gonna be free. Click done. And there you've got free shipping for Australia. It's that easy, it's super, super easy. But say we wanna add a flat rate as well we can add a new rate or we can actually edit this one and change this to standard shipping, whatever you wanna call it. This is what customers are gonna see at checkout. And I'm gonna put $10 per order and click done. Now all customers, when they go to your checkout, they're gonna see standard shipping for $10. Now, what if you wanna segment your products and charge different rates depending on their weight, the product, their price? Well, you can do this by just clicking the buttons here and go edit rate. We can now add in conditions, clicking this conditions button here, and we can add in conditions based on the item weight or based on the order price. Now we can actually set the range for the weights for this order. So if the minimum weight is zero kilograms or pounds and up to 10 kilograms, it's going to be say $10. We can then add a new rate here. I'm going to call it heavy shipping and it's gonna be $20. Add conditions. It's gonna be weight, minimum weight $10 up to 50 kilograms. So now here we have a standard shipping for $10, zero to 10 kilograms, and then $20 for 10 to 50 kilograms. That could be pounds, you know, this is just the metric that we're using for this store. That's how you do it based on weight, but you can also do it based on price. Let me delete these, change the rate name. So standard shipping, it's going to be $10. Add conditions based on order price, and I'm going to set the range for the pricing for zero to $50. See what I do here. I'm gonna add a new rate. What I've done here is I put in the rate name, free shipping on orders over $50 with a price of $0, add conditions, order price, minimum price, $50. So now if people spend less than $50, they're gonna pay $10 in shipping, 
but if they spend over $50, they get free shipping. This is a great way that you can encourage people to spend more on your store, increase your average order values and make more profit per customer. As long as that makes sense for you in terms of how much you're actually paying for your own shipping yourself. Now that we've added it for Australia, you can add other shipping zones here by going create shipping zone and repeat the process, depending on what countries, continents, what areas you're actually shipping to. If you're doing free worldwide shipping, you can also do that too. create shipping zone, rest of the world. For all the people that are not in Australia, you can set a new rate just for them as well. So you might have one rate for just the US customers and then a different rate rest of the world for everybody else. It's really up to you and how you want to run your store. Now that's how you set up shipping. If you want to do free shipping, fixed rate shipping, or based on weight or price. If you want to set up shipping for specific products, you can go back and go to create new profile. What this allows you to do is create a whole new umbrella at the top, which is for specific products. For example, if I just want to show a certain shipping rate for surfboards, because surfboards are very bulky and they cost a lot more for me to ship them, then I can create a profile called surfboards. And then when I click add products, I can just add in only the surfboards. So this wetsuit here doesn't get added to this profile. Once I do that, I can create the shipping zones and all the different rates, just like I did earlier. Guys, when you set up your shipping, make sure you think about for your own store, how you're shipping to customers, but also keep in mind how you actually want to sell. What I mean by this is just like I showed you that you can have free shipping for orders over $50. You can use your shipping as a sales and marketing strategy. A lot of people don't want to pay for shipping. That's the long and short of it. That's how the world works these days. People love to see free shipping, even if they know that it's built into the actual price of the products. So I recommend really thinking about your store, think about your customers, what they would really like to see. Do they expect to pay for shipping? If they're ordering something like a surfboard, people are more likely to be willing to pay for shipping because they understand it's a big and bulky item. But if it's something smaller, adding free shipping can be a great promotional technique that you can show on your ads, on your website, even encourage people to spend more money on your store by having free shipping over a certain amount of the order value. So think about this from your store. That's how you add it there in Shopify. That's it for today's video, guys. I hope that was helpful. If it was, like this video, let me know in the comments below. I really appreciate it. If this is the first time you've seen my face, I make a lot of tutorials and videos for e-commerce store owners, how to grow your store, build your Shopify site, run your Google ads and Google shopping campaigns. I recommend checking out the rest of my videos. They're gonna be super valuable for you. Anyway, guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye for now.